Hi there, this is Mama Fox Books, Storytime Saturdays. I'm children's author Phoebe Fox. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to read a book from a series called Science Wide Open. And this book is called Women in Chemistry. It was written by Mary Wissinger and illustrated by Danielle Pioli. Let's get started. What's the world made of? Now that's an awesome question. One that people have been asking for thousands of years. In ancient times, Cleopatra the alchemist learned about the world by conducting experiments, weighing things and taking measurements. She was studying matter. That's anything we can weigh and that takes up space. She also tried to turn ordinary metals into silver or gold. It didn't work, but she was one of the earliest women studying chemistry. What's chemistry? Chemistry is the science of matter and the changes matter goes through. You could also say it's the science of stuff and how it works. From the air you breathe to the cells in your body, matter and chemistry are everywhere. All the matter in the universe is made up of just three tiny particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Really? Even me? Yes, the protons, neutrons, and electrons get together to build many types of atoms. Imagine atoms as the building blocks for everything in the universe. Groups of the same type of atom are called elements, and Marie Anne Pauls Lavoisier helped write about them in the first modern chemistry textbook. Her drawings showed people how chemistry experiments worked. The book also had a list of elements like oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon which are on our periodic table today. What's the periodic table? The periodic table is the chart that organizes all of the elements. Just like books in a library have a special place, each element has its own spot and symbol. The elements are lined up by how many protons they've got and split into columns by how the elements behave. Have we discovered every element that could ever exist? Not yet. Dawn Shaughnessy is working to find new ones. She leads a team of scientists that has discovered six new elements so far. Using a high-powered machine called a cyclotron to smash atoms together, she watches to see if the atoms combine to form a new element. These elements haven't been seen before on Earth, and it can take years to prove they exist. Some of them, like Livermorium, exist for less than a second. Most elements last longer than that, though. What elements am I made of? You're made up mostly of oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. They team up to build molecules which form the structures in your body and go through millions of chemical reactions. Chemical reactions? What are those? A chemical reaction happens when atoms and molecules combine, split apart, or rearrange. Chemical reactions help your body do things like breathe, move, and get energy from your food. The reactions are controlled by DNA, which is the design for everything in your body. DNA is shaped like a twisted ladder called a double helix, but we didn't know what it looked like until Rosalind Franklin. She worked very carefully to take the best pictures of DNA. Sometimes her pictures took 24 hours before they were ready. Her DNA pictures helped scientists figure out how DNA carries the information that is read by our bodies. How can my body read DNA? Ada Yonath figured out how our bodies read DNA. 
she discovered the chemistry and shape of the ribosome, a structure inside our cells. It took her 20 years of experiments and research to figure out how ribosomes work. Ada studied special cells and used technology called crystallography. She discovered that our bodies make a copy of our DNA instructions, called mRNA. Then one half of the ribosome reads the mRNA instructions, and the other half follows the instructions to make the proteins that build our bodies. Ada won a Nobel Prize for her work because it helps explain how all living things, like you, are built. How did she know where to look for the ribosomes? Ada was inspired by reading about polar bears. When polar bears hibernate for the winter, their ribosomes pack together and get ready to build proteins in the spring. This idea helped Ada think about the shape of ribosome and come up with new ideas for her experiment. Chemists, like all scientists, are curious and get their inspiration from almost anywhere. Anytime they ask a question, it leads them to the next question. Like me, I'm already a chemist. Yes, you are. When you ask a question and look for an answer, you are already a chemist. And here's the best part. The whole universe is your experiment. The end. I hope that you realize that you are a chemist too, and you can take some time to study whatever it is you're interested in. If you do an experiment, make sure to leave a comment and let me know what it was like, and I'll see you next time.